Let's raise our right hands. Say with me. The blood of Jesus avails in this house. The blood of Jesus cleanses me. The blood of Jesus covers me. Give me more than I pray.
famous for, read about Matthew 28 and 19, where he says, To go over all the world and baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus set example for us because there are many religions who will try to contrast or try to contradict the need for water baptism. But I'm not going there today. I come to tell you that as young men and young women of God, the only way out of what I have just explained to you in my testimony is to give your life to Christ. Is to be saved, glory be to God, because when you go into the school environment, you are exposed to all types of spirits. Uh, and if you don't believe in spirits, by the time I finish, you're going to be believing spirits, glory be to God. Yeah, you, you, you need a covering, and the, the, the only one that can protect you uh, from the, 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 the wiles of the devil is Jesus Christ. Uh, parents, if you do not know, you should know this, that most of the principles in the, the school arena in this island Barbados, they belong to the, the Masonic Lodge. And if you belong to the Masonic Lodge, it means you do not love Jesus, you do not know Jesus, and you will not be in agreement with what Jesus wants all of our lives. Glory be to God. So therefore, uh, I want to title this message, Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Turn to somebody and say, Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Because the reality is that when our children spend six hours a day in the school environment, the influence of evil is so great that it can transform them and make them from a, from, from a victim into a villain, glory be to God. That beautiful child that you have raised, that child that has been obedient and so loving and caring, by the time they get back home at five o'clock in the evening, you are wondering what has transpired. And we got principals, we got teachers, we got all kinds of folk, guidance, counselors who do not fear God and they are over our children. What do you expect then from the influence in that environment? If I put this bottle of water in the freezer long enough, it's going to become ice. And as long as it's not in the environment to, 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 to create ice, it becomes water again. So the atmosphere that we are in, it cultivates our attitude. Oh Jesus, I feel my health already. Glory be to God. And we've got some children who are raised by grandmothers and the grandmothers love God. They fear God. They need to see day and night, but for some reason, that grandchild does not line up to the word of God simply because of the environment that they are in. Simply because of the company that they keep. And we understand the old saying that birds of a feather. And we are known by the company that we keep. So young folks, when we try to shield you from Tom, Dick, and Harry, it is not that we don't want you to have friends, it's that we don't want you to endanger your life. Amen. Amen. I want to get one amen. So you have some, some children that, that, that despise their parents because their parents keep them from the wrong folk. They, they, they say, oh, I, I, you live your life, I need to live mine. The devil is a liar, glory be to God. I have put this in my spirit and it will remain in my spirit until I die. My daughter will always be the child. Elder Ski, we got parents that have now been.
become children, children that has now become parents. Children telling their parents what they want, where they want it, how they want it. And what makes it worse, I need you all to understand this. It is not easy to be a parent in this generation because we got some systems and legislations in place that support the child more than the parent. Glory be to God. Oh, I, 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 I feel myself. Glory be to God. We got systems in place that support the women more than the men. Glory be to God. We got systems in place. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, you can't beat your child. It is abuse. But the devil is a lie. I've made that in my mind a long time ago.
find a proper way of discipline. Ouch. So I, I, want, I really want to say that young people, the best way to keep away from the stuff that I was faced with and that many other young people now are faced with and are bound by is to give your life to Jesus Christ. Amen. But I want to also tell you that as young converts, it is not going to be an easy road. This is where I'm going to preach down. Because whenever you become a new convert, the same spirit that has delivered you or caused salvation upon your life is going to lead you down some places. Oh God. Uh, chapter 3, the end of chapter 3 says that, 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 that the spirit descended like a dove upon him. And the heavens opened up and a voice spoke over his life saying, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. But when you flip to the next chapter, chapter 4, it says that the same spirit now leads Jesus into the wilderness, not on a vacation, but to be tempted, tempted by sin and glory be to God. And you need to go there with me, chapter 4, glory be to God. When you have it, say, I have the word. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Glory be to God. Some of you feel that when you get saved, that it's going to be a picnic riding, it's going to be easy. No, no, I've come to tell you that as long as you are not on the devil's side, he's going to come after you. He is not after the world because he has the world already. He's after the church. And as long as you cross sides, as long as you cross the river, there's going to be turmoil, there's going to be temptations, there's going to be afflictions. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it does not stop there. He said, but God, somebody said, but God. God will deliver you out of them all, so you have to allow the Spirit to lead you. High five somebody for the first time and say, allow the Spirit to lead you. You cannot only be led by your principal or your teachers or your guidance counselors. You have to allow the Spirit to lead you because some of them have some corrupt spirits. Some of them have some corrupt mentalities, some corrupt motives, and some of them want to see juice too. So you've got to be very careful of who leads you in this day and age. And the best person to lead you is the Holy Spirit. Does somebody allow the Holy Spirit to lead you? Theologically, the Bible talks about Jesus being tempted, and one of the first temptations was in hunger. The Bible says he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. So here in the text, Jesus has fasted 40 days without anything. It's a dry fast, without water or food. And now he is hungry. And here comes the tempter. Somebody say the tempter. Let me tell you something. He knows where you are vulnerable. He knows where you are weak. He knows where your desires are at. Glory be to God. And the Bible says that he came up to Jesus and said, If thou be the Son of God, command these souls to turn to bread. Glory be to God. But I glad for the scripture that have already gone forth that says that man shall not live by bread and Lord, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And Jesus stood upon the word. Young people, you have to stay upon the word. Can I tell you, young women, do not let no fox into fear of you for a snack box. Glory be to God. We've got folks that are taking advantage of women, young children going to school hungry. I heard it. I know a lot of situations. Young girls going to school without any breakfast and there are perpetrators ready to offer them candy and offer them snacks. Glory be to God. I bind that molesting spirit in the name of Jesus. I declare that you shall go out and come in and you shall find pasture and you shall be safe from the perpetrators by God. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you gotta, you gotta have control over your appetite. Yes. 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 The Bible says that if you are a person given to appetite, put a knife to your throat. Yes. We have a generation that loves Shafet and KFC, and they will do just about anything just to get there. The devil is a liar. And we got the minivan culture and the Zara culture that have these young girls driving up and down on the vans, going to God and offering them pennies for favors. Let me tell you something. I release the blood over you today. Going to God, I release the blood over you. I release the blood over you. I release the blood over you. No man 
meets her husband. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy it. I prophesy it. Come with me, come with me, come with me, come with me, little girl, son. Come on, little girl, son. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go on, take this word for granted. They shall not touch you in the name of Jesus. If they touch you, let them be cursed. Look, 
Kaluda because he's somewhere down the road he has a hidden agenda going into God. So young people, you need to know this word. Uh, that the devil can't give you nothing because he owns nothing. Glory be to God. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Glory be to God. It says, No good thing that I live for from those who want a bread. If you want brand name, if you want house, if you want car, if you want all of that, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. I know you don't want to hear me. But if you seek first God and his righteousness, let me tell you something. He says, All of those things. Will be added onto you. Glory be to God. The devil is not going to give you nothing. His only objective is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Now you're getting here. Tell him again. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. 